OK, we're going to look at now um, how we plot intercepts to find the vessel's position. We're going to look at the um, example that's in your uh, exercise book. And in this particular exercise, we've calculated that our intercept is 3 miles towards and that the azimuth is 46.2 degrees south, 46.2 west. So in other words, a bearing of 226.2, 3 miles towards. So what we need to do, we need to have um, graph paper. And you need to initially roughly work out how it's going to look on the graph paper. And we know that our bearing is towards the southwest, 226 at 3 miles. So we're best doing our plot in the top right hand corner of the page because it gives us plenty of room to plot. You can use whatever scale you want, whichever scale you find um, suitable, easy to use, where you can clearly measure the correct distances off. So the scale I'm using here on this graph paper is 0 to 10. You can see the top there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to put my DR position right here. So that's the DR position of the vessel. That's where we think the vessel is. And we have an intercept of 226.2 uh, degrees. So the intercept are right at the top is 226 degrees by 3 miles towards. OK, so we're towards the bearing at 3 miles. <coughs> so what I do, I draw my DR position. Then I'll get a protractor and I'll place it over the top of the DR position and measure from the southerly position there right round to 226 degrees. Now I would mark that off and then with my pencil, you're always better using pencil in case you need to uh, rub it out, I would draw the bearing of 226 degrees. So that's the bearing down there at 226 degrees. Then I need to measure a distance of 3 miles towards. So getting my dividers, I can just mark what 3 miles is there, put it at the DR position and then mark 3 miles towards. Then I'd mark it on there. Okay. Then what I'll do, again, I'll get my protractor and I'll place the centre of the protractor over the 3 miles that I've marked. And then I'll place the other end of the protractor at 90 degrees. In other words, the position line I'm going to draw is at 90 degrees to my bearing. I'd mark off either side. I'd get my ruler and then I would draw the um, position line which is 90 degrees to the intercept and there we have our position line and that's there that's the position line which is 90 degrees to the bearing okay that's our DR position so if you like this is our latitude there and that's our departure on this side here so we're using the plain sailing method that's latitude departure so if we if we mark from the position line if we go across to our latitude there and then up from there to our departure okay then we get our dividers again and we would measure the the, the amount of delatitude and we go to our scale and we find that it's 2.1 so the delat is 2.1 miles. We do the same for our departure. Just measure that there and we'd find that our departure is 2.2. .2. Okay, so we've got departure of 2.2, .2, DLAT of 2.1. So we're okay to use our DLAT to find from our DR position to find our latitude. What we do then, as you can see on the book there, we've written in our DLAT of 2.1, it's in a southerly direction, so your ITP latitude, your position line, plotted latitude, is going to be less because it's southerly, 47, 27.9. What we then do, we use the mean latitude, so we have a mean latitude of 47 degrees 29, we know our departure, which is 2.2 .2 that we measure. So by the plain sailing formula, the formula departure equals d long times cos mean lat, we transpose that to find our d long, and it's departure divided by cos mean lat. 
So we know our departure, 2.2. We know our mean lat, cos 47.29. And by using your calculator, you can find your D-long and it's 3.2 miles. So what you do then, you, again, you go to your DR of 3.2. It's in a westerly position. So it's southwest, it's a westerly position. Therefore, it's going to increase and therefore it makes our lat uh, longitude 45.23.2. So just to quickly recap, just use a decent sized graph paper, draw the lines clearly, mark off, off, off the scale your DLAT and your departure, and then using plain sailing, you can calculate your position from your DR position.